allegedly. It's just the word allegedly. It's what I heard allegedly. It's on the street allegedly. I sing to the beat allegedly. 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 It's what I heard allegedly. It's just the word allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue allegedly. It won't help you allegedly. 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 Bitch, one of you was flat. Well, well, well. They got it. They, Hold on. Oh, sorry. We got to play that one more again because this conversation is going to be so allegedly. We got to shimmy one more again. Everybody is just finding out. This is breaking news. It came out maybe 38 minutes ago. It's 11.06 in New York, so people were just getting to bed. But now, boom, goes the Everyone's down. awake. I know everyone's awake in New York. <laughs> this is waking them up. Allegedly, it's just the word allegedly. It's what I heard allegedly. It's on the street allegedly. I sing to the beat allegedly. Shimmy allegedly. Allegedly, it's what I heard allegedly. It's just the word allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue allegedly. It won't help you allegedly. 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 Bitch, one of you was flat. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Lord have mercy, sister, sister. So, here's what we know. I'm going to read you what TMZ said. Diddy was, now this is again, this came out at 6.48 p.m. Pacific. So, this is our and 12-minute old news. Oh. Diddy was just taken into federal custody in New York Monday night, TMZ has learned. We're told that Diddy was taken into the FBI field office in Manhattan. It appears action was taken in connection with the ongoing criminal investigations into alleged traffic and other offenses that led to search warrants being issued and executed at Diddy's homes in Beverly Hills and Miami. Diddy's attorney, Mark Alfignio, tells TMZ that we are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon and self-made entrepreneur with a lo and a loving family. <laughs> oh, come on. You oh, come on. I was doing it with a straight face. Until then. Oh, come on. Really? Really? What's love got to do with it? That's Nothing. some Ike Turner love. That ain't that ain't love, baby. That ain't oh, love. Eat the kids. A proven philanthropist who has spent the last thirty years building an empire off other artists' backs, mm -hmm. stealing their money legally, and working to uplift the black community. Oh yeah. Girl. And I oh, mean, yeah, I feel I feel like girl fun. to him, like. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I now here's here's my thing. Okay. We have evidence on Diddy. There's no there's not that much more allegedly to be said. Like the Cassie footage is out there. He's settling claims left and right. That doesn't technically mean guilt, but it also doesn't scream innocence. However, I feel that this arrest could be very, who was that? What's that guy's name? We're going to call him Einstein because we don't even want to say that name. We don't want to oh, say the real oh. name. We don't want to say the real name. So we're going to oh. call him Einstein. Got it? Everybody got it? All right. Mm -hmm. I could see this going in Einstein way because think about it. Uh, an, an, an accusation just came out saying Usher and Jimmy Ovine, who's like a big, big billionaire, mm -hmm. saw... Did he hit me and did nothing? And the thing is, footage is going to start leaking, like footage already has, of him assaulting people. And we already know people in that hotel didn't do anything. 
They saw the footage, sold it to him, and kept their mouths shut. I could see a, um, a mandatory uh, report law coming out of this, but I could also see this being the unraveling of a lot of Hollywood uppers. I could definitely see there's going to be names. There's going to be discovery. You think he has his own black book? Uh, I think there's footage. Yeah. I think they had the raids and they were, there's footage. Mm -hmm. They were paid, but I'm sorry, you can't pay me. There's not enough money where I would turn a blind eye to that kind of abuse. Because I, when you when something happens to you, I could never live with myself. I mean, I, there's not enough money for that kind of guilt. You would never be able to enjoy it. Like, oh, yeah. no, no, -uh, no, no, there's not enough money for that. Not for me, anyway. For other people, sure. It would be on my mind where I'm like, I know I could have done what was really right and what could possibly save somebody's life or their kids. And I'm out, no. But here's the thing with that, Alex. Like, yeah, the money could go somewhere, but even if it runs out, the the Diddy's and the Einstein's of the world will be on you. They'll be like, okay, are you going to squeal? Are you going to squeal? If you look a little too shifty, they're going to uh, be like, well, thank you for your services, but you're going to take a nice slow dip in the, uh, I forget y'all's river in New York, but. Um, the Hudson? The Hudson. Yes. You're going to take a nice slow dip in the Hudson. And that stuff, that's where I'm like, Diddy comes from that time. Like, let's remember Biggie. This is true. He, this is true. This is so he, true. Those kind of ties. So, like an Einstein, he might not be with us soon because I don't think it's just, oh, uh, him abusing women and men. I think he might be in ties where some people be like, I don't like you talking, so you might have to go. Oh. Exactly, because it's like Diddy is not that <laughs> uh, Think about that circle Yeah <laughs> The A-list <laughs> Of the A-list Yep And I mean, Diddy kind of still un Not not saying he's not like rich or nothing But he still can be looked at as You're disposable I mean When, when you see you find oh okay this one I give you a damn treat to get you. this is serious business Bronx um, come on Bronx Bronx but, is looking for a payoff just like uh -huh. the other fools <laughs> <laughs> you have to pay me but that that I think that the estate is going to be paying people off them kids better get some millions while they can. They better oh, set up a trust wow. because those kids are going from the lap of luxury to laps. I mean, to lapsed payments, lapsed homes, lapsed educate, a lapsed life because now your father is in federal custody. Some of them are like in their 30s, right? 20s. Or like in their 20s. But you still are going to, like, you're not planning on working. When your That's dad fine. is Diddy, or you're working, but you know it's like it doesn't matter. I plan on inheriting a few hundred million. Well, that money's gone. That's Didn't why, I'm, like, gone. have no discernment. They're going to be like, uh, "May I take your order?" kind of thing because they haven't been like, have they even gone into production like their father? Have they even used any uh, money for like schooling or like to even learn Diddy. how to play? Didn't make money in production. Now, Diddy made a lot of money off of Sean John, but Diddy made his money stealing from other artists. That's a production in a way. That's why he would produce. He would go in and put a little intro in or a note here or there. Stevie J was doing all the work, but he would take all the credit. Bad Boy took all the money. Ask Total. Ask, um, oh, God, Jadakiss. As se um, I don't know if you should ask 702. No, 702. I don't know. 702 has a sad story, too. Talk to them anyway. But there's a lot of Diddy artists that they're not getting their publishing. They're not getting any money. He took all the, all the money, all the long-term money. The lots. Yeah. When we talk about, uh, what's it called, uh, succubus or incubus, uh, 
media uh, producers and all that, managers, that's Diddy. Like, he's going to suck the life out of you. And it's like, it's funny that, like, sorry to bring him up, but, like, Drake was talked about how he was, like, taking artists and, like, taking their stuff. But Diddy, I feel like, hasn't had that where, you know, like, Kendrick went after Drake. But I guess the FBI is the Kendrick in this story now. I mean, really, how will the girls be fine? Didn't they just go to prom? They're very young. So they're, they're, sure. Yeah, like, I don't know how they're going to, like, unless they're going, like, and this also because I feel like this, uh, this may be one arrest of many. Yeah. I could definitely see this having tendrils that reaches high and low in the entertainment industry. Think of his best friends. Like, you know, these are parties that Chris Brown, Mm -hmm. Mary J. Blige, Reese Witherspoon, Alec Baldwin. Like, I'm not going to say every A-lister was, you know, up in the bus, but Mm -hmm. some of them were. And names are going to be names because I'm sorry, I feel like he's going to start singing And these other people in these suits are also singing, and they're going to say, well, who else was in the room? So there are more people involved than Diddy that are going to be like, well, yeah, we saw. We had access to the footage. Access to the footage. Oh, well, we can say this person was there. They might not be able to tell you what went on in the room, but somebody else will. So it's going to be like, okay, so Mary, you was in the hotel suite. This person got their butt whooped. The hotel suite was only this big. How did you not hear? That could happen at the trial. I'm not saying it did, but certain scenarios like that could. And she better not lie because, oh, the FBI, CIA, whomever, they hate a lie. Oh, my God. As per Jaguar Wright. Oh, waking up the dead. Ooh, and I know Jaguar Wright is, oh, Jesus. I mean, you know... This is, I I don't know whether, I don't know about that woman because somebody else brought up a good question. If you were there for all this tea, why didn't you do anything to try to stop it? Yeah, she's been going on since since she she broke the dam. She, you could look, she's got some tall tale. It literally is like Aesop's fable. She's going harder and harder and harder. Now, I'm not saying there are many grains of truth within her Sandman stories, but Mm -hmm. I will say that is an unreliable narrator, you know. Yeah, like... Oh, sorry. No, I'm just going to say that she... Listen, I think there's a lot of uh, folks, like Alex said, that are very concerned about this arrest. Yes. I mean, like, look at Cosby, like, I'm not going to, I believe in a lot of the women, there was like one or two that were like, mm, your story didn't add up. I hope you, it didn't happen, you know, but like, it's like one of those things, but like, even if it's just one, you, you need to go and pay, you know, your, uh, what's it called? The sentence or your justice. But we could tell Cosby did his stuff by himself and all of the, the victims say the same thing. We exactly. were alone. It was a lewd. But this is this was happening at parties. There were other people present. I exactly. mean, one of the lawsuits involves um, Meek Mill as a popular <laughs> Philadelphia rapper who used to date Nicki Minaj. And that he was having sex with Diddy. And that he mm-hmm. was also having sex with some of the escorts. And, like, these, these are current people in these accusations. And now this it has federal attention. Who's next? You know what's uh, the most morbid thing? Like, Diddy is such a deviant, like, such a... I don't want to, like, sex shame or anything, but, like, the way that... I mean, I read the affidavits and all the court records that were released, and I'm like, this man is the devil like seriously like he just took pleasure in people's pain a sadist a sadist basically and it's like dude there's people that would do that 
consensually. So it's like, and you have this money, so you could be in those, like, no offense to people who are in those, you can be in those circles, but you just want to be an R word, an, an Einstein. And it's like, even if these people who went to those parties are not involved, it's like, you knew. Well, I think the truth is the entertainment industry has been hiding a sea of high-powered predators for a very, very, very long time. And Fair. I think we're just starting to see them the, the them finally get to a certain level Ooh. of predator on the food chain. Like <laughs> Harold Weinstock. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, the we, thing is, we ain't giving them nothing today. We ain't giving them nothing. But the like, thing is, we're like, learning Jorge, the, like Jorge Einstein mm-hmm. and, and Harry Weinstock. Uh, and uh, the G1. I, I can't, I'm not that creative for her, so I'm just going to call her Getty. How about that? Einstein. Mm-hmm. Getty. But the thing is, we're learning the 90s predators. We're not learning today's. You know, that's what worries about me. Like, you know, the young stars are coming up, the Summer Walkers, the uh, even Megan. It's like, are we not noticing predators in our midst? And we're allowing these young girls and boys to be abused? Because, like, I fully believe that Usher, he, like, even though, like, yes, he uh, saw that and didn't report it for that dinner table, I think he's an, uh, a victim. So, like, I'm not surprised he didn't say anything. And I'm not trying to give him an out, but it's like, that psycho abuse creates people who are scared to say anything, too. They got him before he got away, like Russell Simmons. Sure did. Oh, 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 oh. there's uh, another one. And it's not just the 90s, though. I mean, yes, these men were probably perpetrating some of this, but I mean, you're looking at the people that were still actively at it when they were yeah. caught, including Diddy. I think we're just seeing that they've gotten brazen enough and there's a sea of victims enough. I don't know how Cassie's lawyers got a hold of that footage, but once they did, they knew they had the proof to make the whole house of cards tumbleina. It literally so, had to be like a disk drive or something. It had to be physical. It couldn't have been just, well, of you know, course. But yeah, I mean, but I'm just saying, however, they got their hands on it because yeah, I... Yeah. It... It's definitely, we definitely have all, like, this is also, like, the FBI just don't roll up on you sure and, don't. and get away what, with it. What's he back they, they have a 95, 97 conviction rate. So uh-huh. it's very, good luck, good luck. A Chuck, uh, why was he back in the States? Wasn't he with Russell Simmons? I place? think this is big enough where there wasn't really no place you can go. Um, I, I think with Russell's stuff, it's not to the criminal level. It's more civil. This is the FBI. <laughs> they probably that? told his lawyers, because remember, they seized him. He, he They had scheduled to go on a trip for the first time that they searched his stuff, right? Or young, but Miami was trying to go somewhere. They probably let Diddy know, your international travel needs to be in extraditable countries. Yeah. Because it's like, you may be uh, out of our grasp today, but there's always tomorrow, the next day, a week. And it's like, we will make you an example because I think, like, this is, like, again, this is not the 90s where people can just run away from the United States, where it's like, oh, I'm going to, uh, you know, one of these countries that are not extraditable. And it's like, no. No, and that one could... of the most famous men in the world. Dude, that too. Yep. And You're hilarious. Right. So, um, so uh, Usher Ray's out yay. Mm-hmm. You're hilarious. I can tell your age. You got the '90s, like it was back in like the '70s or something. You know, back when they the pioneer times when they when they went out the country on a on a boat with a sail. <laughs> I mean, I'm only 28, but I'd be 20. I know. I'm teasing you. I'm like, because Alex and I lived through the 90s. That's why we, uh-huh. it's not like it was back in the 1900s. Uh-huh. I love you both. Like, I respect my <laughs> elders and my uh, 
my aunties and uncles. Oh, <laughs> this is a great point. You don't know who already cut a deal first. Oh, oh my God. I want this. To, and also, is he going to cut it? I bet. I yes. bet. I bet he's going to cut a deal. It's that he's Whitney probably Davis. already oh. negotiating. It's going to be a quick guilty plea like it was with those settlements because unless he wants the trial, I think with, I mean, he might be, if he does the trial, he's going to drag everybody down with him. Oh, and yeah. I have to say, I want to watch. I have fresh crispy pot stickers right here. <laughs> I've got some sauce from Taylor's. <laughs> I got some fresh noodles. Like, I, I am ready for the trial. You got Bronx? Look at this. I got treats. I got goldfish crisps. But here's the thing. Fresh I water for order in the court. I think this might break hip hop as we know it, at least on the upper executive level, because if he's going to squeal, he's going to squeal on the big dogs, not no little men. So like, I think also big name entertainers, like when you think about his circle and even also the people that he's put on, like Meek Mill was in those accusations as, as a pawn, as a sexual plaything. That would not be good for his rep. And they say that's how Diddy got a lot of these young artists is he drug them up at these parties, get them to do something strange for a piece of change, and then hold the tapes over them forever. Just like Einstein. Just like Einstein. That's well, that's what I was going to say. I think like, there's probably a lot of footage that people have been blackmailed to stay silent. Not just paid off, but also blackmailed. Because, yeah. you know, if the environment is one that this is a playground, and let's be real here, there's plenty of people that do what Diddy had video of willingly in certain clubs and all of this. So you're on a bunch of drugs, and I'm not saying that, you know, the, the caliber of the person isn't in question, all of that crap. I'm just saying that I bet you there are so many people on video. Yep. This is going to break Black Hollywood a little bit, I think. I think it's going to break all colors because, you know, Diddy's white party had every color of the rainbow. Yeah. I mean, and all different kinds of echelons of Hollywood, mm -hmm. but mostly upper. <clears throat> and then also so many artists from the past, I think, are also going to start to come out like um, Dawn from Dirty Money. Mm-hmm. And they're going to start to tell their tea. And also, who was there who saw it? Who was a witness? Now, Kalina's already said, I never saw it. That's not my truth. I'm uh, not disrespecting her truth, but that's not my experience. Who's going to come out and say that? And then have several other people say, oh, no, that half a saw. We was all there. That's what I'm saying. Like, the FBI might say, uh... Witness A, uh, come to the stand. Uh, here's this Bible. Uh, swear that you tell the truth because guess what? They don't care about no Twitter or whatever post she put on saying, I didn't do it. We see you on video, lady. So you might have known it. What do you think about that? Do we think little Kim has anything to say? Yeah. Everyone that was near uh, Biggie, hell yeah. Because here's the thing, if Biggie was alive, he might have been the first witness to be called up to the stand. Or he might have been like one of his, uh, you know, one of the part of the defendants on the case. Co-conspirators? Yep. Well, I mean, listen, the feds don't mess around. So when you're this much in trouble with them, that means that the evidence that they have is staggering. That's what they do. They'd be like, right. oh, wait, like a good five years of collecting evidence. And I and think, I wonder if maybe the FBI gave Cassie the tape to testify. Mm. And they were like, look, We'll give you this. You can sue. We'll give you first crack at the money. First crack. That sounds like them. That sounds like them. If you could crack our case, we got this tape. And the FBI, God knows how they could get. Well, actually, I'll tell you how they got it. 
they arrested somebody else at the hotel for doing something completely unrelated. And they said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can give you this on somebody really big. That's already on the radar. And they like, we've been sniffing around for a minute. Now <laughs> we've got the missing piece of the puzzle. I believe it because here's the thing. I think that hotel did have a copy because like, they're not dumb. They're like, when stuff like this happens, <clears throat> to cover your own butt, because oh, and you know who it was? It was someone high in hotel management. Mm -hmm. There, it was someone who had access, and there's only so many people. Somebody who had access to the security tapes. So that's it. Mm -hmm. That security. And that's like the hotel manager on site, the staff, um, like the highest it. hotel manager, and maybe the assistant, like the general manager, yeah, yeah. or just the uh, maids and uh, queen staff. Well, they wouldn't have access to the yeah. Team. This is somebody mm -hmm. that had a hard copy or an email okay. copy in their possession, and that probably wouldn't have been uh, a maid or somebody, or they would have been leaked it. Okay. This is somebody who was paid I, to stay quiet until the FBI came knocking, and then mm -hmm. they said, okay, hold on, I'll throw you a much bigger fish if you throw me back in the pond. And they mm -hmm. said, all right, bet. And so then they went to Cassie, and they said, now look, we've got this video, but we need... And this is all speculele, allegedly, allegedly. But imagine, let me say imagine, because I don't want people thinking I got a direct line and, and they call, I'm just saying imagine. That's how they got her to corroborate. It's like, look, we'll give you this tape that you needed all this time and you'll have first crack. Yeah, Kathy is definitely being, going to be a testimony for sure. Because... So many victims, man. No, it came out before the raid. It was first, it was the Cassie lawsuit. Oh, and yeah. It got settled really quickly. And mm. somebody pointed out it got settled because she was suing companies and they have insurance policies. Got and it. so she was, they were like, look, we're going to do this and you, you don't have any decision. We're just going to settle to make this go away because it'll get too expensive in legal fees. For sure. With all that money, that was too expensive. Wow. Yeah. I'm just curious how much was in motion before this even happened. Because I just wonder what prompted Cassie to take this moment now, years later. I know there's all kinds of reasons like that are logical, but I'm just curious as to what the real one what or what the different ones were. Was it like, okay, she finally had a, a team that was willing to go take this on because the FBI was already digging around and she maybe got some kind of, a, uh, like Alex is saying, maybe not a direct, uh, you know, hit or figured by the what questions that they were asking her. Oh, they've seen footage. I don't even know. I'm just, because she it's... had the footage herself while she, uh, what's it called, that suit. Because I don't think she would have felt comfortable if she didn't know, like, with her own eyes. I mean, obviously, it happened to her. But, like, well, actual physical evidence that can prove her suit, even if they try to deny it, and, like, go to court for it, you know? I also think um, she might have had some evidence left to her by Kim Porter. Oh, rest in peace. I think the late Kim Porter seemed like she will never know, but there are rumors of a book. The rumors are squashed, but Kim seemed like she'd write a book. We don't know if she'd bash Diddy, but it seems like she'd write a book. Um, I I could definitely see a woman like that. She There's been, you know, accusations of her suffering abuse with him and her not taking it. And um, there's a specific story about her getting him with a corkscrew. Well, oh. she was like, you ain't gonna get me. Now that story's out there. Um, I forget which which person, which rapper was telling it, but like that's a story that like it's easily findable um, on the YouTube streets. 
You know who um, else I wonder if has anything to say is Kamora. Oh, 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 oh. Mm-hmm. See, this is this may be the nineties, but baby, it's the late nineties, mm-hmm. early two thousands. This is twenty years ago, but like these people were high on the hog twenty years ago. I mean, we were just getting to know Kamora's goiter. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. I think so much if this makes it to not even trial, and this is why I think he may cop cop that plea. Um, and I mean, he's going to spend the rest of his life in prison. The oh, rest yes. of his life. Yeah, the or charges. The rest of his life either way. A very long time or a very short one if he goes like Einstein. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like Einstein, he was only given... How much was Einstein, like, only given? But then he got popped. I don't of, know. No, I but I mean, Einstein ended up, you know, uh, suicide, and I put that in air quotes, oh. um, in his jail cell. So, I mean, it goes back to what you were saying earlier, is that if this is a, a a whole network of people that are terrified about, especially if it's deep trafficking, which is what they're alleging, um, there's people that are more deeper into this than Diddy. I mean, we all know the rumors. How much do we think that Clive Davis and uh, Quincy Jones, like those folks, they say that Diddy got groomed by them? Cosby era folks. Yeah. Oh. Kings of Quaaludes. Uh, Fonsworth Bentley got the tea. True, Fonsworth Bentley, Mace. Mace ain't never been right. Mace act like he got touched in the bus a time or two. Shoot, Harvey uh, uh, Beinstein, if I can say, uh, wasn't his like defense also was like, oh, I was abused as well, and, and all of this, blah, blah, blah. It's like, Okay, we maybe can open their case with you, but like we're talking about you, sir. It's like ah men, just men. Depends. He might not get bail if he's a flight risk. When you have a plane, you're kind of a flight risk. Yeah. But they may say turn over your passport, like he may And put an ankle monitor on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the rest of us. <laughs> well, I don't have an ankle monitor. I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> I was like, huh? Well, <laughs> if you need trouble with Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what kind of friends you have, but. Oh, oh, no, no. I meant like when we get in trouble with the law, we might have to be on house arrest. Because. Wait, you- what? Huh? I don't, when we get in trouble with the law, I don't do that either. <laughs> I'm talking about us. You know why? Get, I'm on house arrest anyway, just because I like to stay in the house. Yes, my like, God, I'll attest to. But where am I going? Oh my God. You don't need to put an ankle bracelet on me to keep me at home. <laughs> For real? I mean, I'm the same way. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to say, like, Diddy's like, he always give up the tease. Like, he always looked down on others. So I know this f- makes him feel like... Humble. Yes. Yeah, he's humbled now. Very. Deeply. Deeply. <laughs> I so mean, I- everybody knows the truth, and everybody is about to know all of it, because you're about to either admit or take it to trial and i i I think you're gonna try to take it to trial to see if you can you know get back to your fabulous life somebody Uh said going to jail at 55 is wow i mean i'll say at 41 i'm like oh my god i'm so addicted to the comforts of my life in a good bed it's like oh hell no (laughs) i don't even drive so i can't get a speeding ticket well, do you think he would have like so many connects in jail that he'd be like, like almost like running it like a kingpin? You know, I think so. I think yeah. there would still be enough money and still enough power left over where 
you would, I, and also you'll still have a friend that would help behind the scenes. People like that always do. Where <laughs> you, um, where you would still have money on your books, you would still, you know, and depending on which prison, although this is federal and violent crime, mm. so it's not going to be like, you know, if Martha Stewart had gone longer, she would have been fine. It's like she's in there making jams and jellies. Like it's not the most ideal, but you know, but I also don't think it's like back in the day with like the mob. The, those people oh, no. where you were having, you know, five course meals every night. And also that requires a lot of money and bribes consistently. Yeah, they're going to take every, like, because that's why I'm saying, like, Diddy wasn't up there there because, quote unquote, his stuff is legal. And even though he's stealing from people, their intellectual property, he was still making clean money. So I don't think he has anything under the books enough to be like that. Oh, I do. <laughs> Not his fault. I was going to say, you never know. That's if, if he could have all of this treachery, the videos of beating a woman down in bra, in pub, like in a public area at the elevators, like I'm sure there's all kinds of hidden off, off, uh, offshore accounts, mm-hmm. all kinds of things. Because if, there, if, there's, if there's, you know, uh, a traffic jam, then there's money being exchanged and probably taxes ain't being paid on. Yeah. Fees. Um, Laundering. Also, uh, the, the prescription substances that mm-hmm. were also being acquired and possibly a profit could have been turned. More <laughs> money hidden from the I, the R, the S. Oh, Absolutely. Look at Tom Girardi. The, you know, <laughs> And he can't use the coot defense. Nope. Oh, oh, he's he's still too young for that yet. I mean, we need Man. to realize that the level of which the length of time that he's had the ability to do this, the like the layers of all the different people that have been complicit. I mean, I think that's what gets people eventually at the end is that you get almost so bold in your behavior because you've gotten to a point where you're you know have all this money to throw around all I mean when we look back at the Einsteins and the Woodwards or whatever you know we see that like the entire network for years and years and years that was almost in our face in public view Uh so you know I have I have no doubt that there's so much there's Hidden funds, offshore accounts, traffic under you know, black under market age. folks. Yes. Oh, oh Lord. I mean, only just uh, begun. I'm the sure of the iceberg. IDs. And also, now that their business is out in the street, these are working professionals that may have to leave the business because they've been put on blast. You don't think they're going to talk and squawk and put out a book? Oh. The book deals. Ooh, book deal. Do, 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 do. Talk about book deal. Random house getting on the phone. Book deal. Oh, my God. I literally thought of something. It's kind of so... Corinne cool. Stevens! Oh. <laughs> Get your pen out, girl. I, I, I love you. I said the same thing. Look at Suge Knight. Suge Knight's got a podcast from In Jail. Oh. Oh. Tory Lanez with his uh, recording equipment. He's going right? to Right? I mean, listen. Do I think they'll seize his assets for restitutu? Um, I it depends because there's also civil suits. Yeah. So it really depends on what financial crimes they found he committed. But this investigation can go on and on till the break of dawn. Yeah. They merely, and that's why they took so long, and they let him flip and float and fly about. He didn't they, fly uh, above the drama. Lean back. Lean <laughs> back. We're going to build a case and lean back. Do you think Candy's involved? Escape? Not Candy Burrs. No. I uh, don't. Candy, I, I like, the thing is, you like, there are going to be a lot of people where you were in attendance on this party, you were on the plane, that don't mean nothing. 
Yes. Just because you were at the party does not mean you participated because they said, and like many people know, you leave a Diddy party at midnight. A lot of them people were out of there at midnight and then, you know, things got, you know, very adult around one. Yeah, like, so I'm just FYI, I'm Jewish, so it's not going to be weird. Einstein, <laughs> like, I've just mentioned it because Einstein's parties he had on his island, he had, because he was Jewish as well, he had a lot of Jewish celebrities. So, like, when those trials were going out, they were being uh, interviewed, like, did you know this shit? And they had to put statements like, I did not know nothing. I was above the island, you know, the surface and all that. So it's like that. <laughs> and it's like all these celebrities were like, what the hell is going on? And it's like, yeah. Well, I, mean, I think a lot of them were victims, too. Like Mary J. Bly, everybody's talked about just bad things happened to her, you know? Like, so I think it's a very, very complicated web. And there will absolutely be some people that strike deals, that testify, that get immunity, that have yeah. done some dirt. But I mean, Ooh, ultimately, this is immunity roll call. Who <laughs> <laughs> be first? Who's gonna be like sliding the home base first? Everybody is on the phone with their lawyer right now. Like <laughs> we're on this live. Like the content creators ran to the live. They ran to their lawyers. Oh my god. <clears throat> Some of them have the same ones. They have a group call. You know, you know what? Let me add you in, Mary. Let me add you in, Usher. Into this. this is a lot of people's last Christmas with their families. Oh, wow. Sir. Sir. T.I., I wouldn't be surprised. But after all, we've heard about his shenanigans. Mm-hmm. He might be a separate thing. Similar, but separate. Because there's a big uh, S, like, uh, traffic light. Uh, scandal in Atlanta, like real bad. Immunity and roll call. Who wants to see their kids Christmas? Christmas? In fact, then they almost got that. Di and Tiny with their own stuff. Yeah, they almost, but the when everything was dropped. Yeah. Hmm. And it was we never found out why, but everything was dropped. Yes, I know. I know. He's so upset about it. Yeah. He said, I, I'm not paid enough. He's indignant for them. Mm-hmm. He is. Aren't you so loving? But man. It is. I, I really can't wait to find out just how deep this goes. We're finally, we're the, the fish rots from the head. Mm-hmm. And I feel like now that we've gotten the head, we can get to the body. Oh, someone mentioned Ray. I Ray. want to get to the body. I want these people. To, although this is also going to fart up a lot of music. Because yes, I yes, thought yes. Cassie's Me and You in the club. And I oh. it made me sad. Because I was like, oh, that poor girl was, you know, God knows what was happening to her. And she's trying to, you know, look good and do this song. And that was the only song she really had. I know so many had damaged came on, and I was like, "Oh!" And then it gets to the end where Diddy's just like, "You know, you live and learn." You know what I mean? I'm like, "You mother!" I was just cursing. You gotta go to the bird. Yes, Drink. yes. Oh, yes. oh and like, 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 like now you gotta keep him off the ends. Of, oh God! Like there was <laughs> like, he's a, a part of so many damn songs. Because like Chuck Knight said, he always had to be jiving the video. Oh. It's a jump scare, really, when he comes back, when he comes on. It's like, oh, God. Faith Evans. Oh, all- we got our snacks for the show, baby. <laughs> I, where is, where is the trial? Because I am moving. I will be camped. Because the trial going to be like two years. <laughs> I am going to be there every day like it's OJ. This is the new OJ trial. Alex, go back to New York so you and Chris can go to the trial just so we can <laughs> Get front row seat and be like, pop roast, extra, extra. Did oh, this is going to be the fucking uh, sorry for Chris, the new uh, Jesse Smollett. Oh, this is way Jesse bigger than Smollett. that. Maybe who cannot begin? I know. To but this compare to for this, y'all. Sissy uh, Smollett, he who is like, you know what? <laughs> I, I may have acted a fool. But I, I ain't really hurt nobody. 
Like, this makes him look good. This makes him look, in the words of Amanda Seals, low-key noble. Compared this looks to that, like him. This looks like him giving out job opportunities. Because didn't he oh. pay them? You sure did. <laughs> he also, um, he looks, <laughs> looks like a, you know, like a, a, a benign benefactor. Oh, my God. <laughs> the... This is, no, I, you know what it is, Ooh. though? This is what I hope. I hope that it finally starts to dismantle how oh, exploitive and predatory the music industry is because Better. the artists are the ones making the least amount of money and doing the most amount of work. Yes. Oh, B. Oh, yes. Bieber. You, I, oh we need God. to believe Bieber. We need to believe him. And that, he really I'm has been, that. he, he acted like some things have gone wrong. He is, thank you. He's been struggling recently. And I feel like getting the truth out there, get that off your heart. Get it off your heart. They're fragile. You know, they crack easier. Because they, you know. uh, It's, um. Then I have to ask, like, is Usher involved, involved? Not just as a victim now. Because I... If and Bieber this, is part this of it. gets to the Chris Stokes rumors, because there's been a lot of rumors about producers and grooming. And remember that picture of Immature with all three of them in the underwear, in the bed? God, yeah. That I was remember a- that picture. And every, like, that, it's like they, it'll come out and then somebody will, and then they'll squash it and then it'll come out again. And it's like, mm-hmm, yeah, that's why yeah. there's those rumors out there. Oh, Kendrick Lamar. Oh, I think Kendrick Lamar is going to have a field day like with this one. Because... And now the feds are involved. Wit- victims are talking. And so it's going to be difficult for people to do what they've always done, which is deny, deny, deny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez in the eye of the storm. I am still Jennifer Lopez. Uh, (laughs) That's why Ben left her. He said, you are about to go testify for the Fed. I want no part. Ben's an alcoholic. He was going to left her anyway. Like I was kidding. I yes. uh, (laughs) They also said that the marriage was testing his sobriety. Yeah. I he he Dunkin Donuts can go do his thing whatever I, I honestly like I couldn't have cared less to be honest with you that they got back together I just thought it was you know ha- back- how it ended is no surprise they're seen together again so they might be back oh god they have them with the kids oh, I, I don't care how about that's that the whatever you want photo. That, that's the amical divorce photo shoot <laughs> get, you know get married again I could not care. Let do another documentary. Throw you know these are none of these things are things I watched. Jennifer, so, like you know, married, not staying married. They could do what they like. They could mm-hmm. reconcile. They could you know. But yes, now, that is. I I want to get to something else on a little bit of a lighter note. Okay. Have we seen Jerry Mouse? I mean La Roche. What? And Naomi Campbell. Uh, get, I'm sorry. Law Roach is is nothing but Jerry Mouse in a bus now. Uh, but, but, <laughs> I mean, not to bring it back, but uh, Naomi has her own thing. But yeah. But I, I know Naomi and Rihanna have some drama. But when did Rihanna and Law Roach get into it? Because Law, you just like girl. Ah, the the whole one. Very cutesy, very demure. We we do love the trend. We love the trend, but to try to shade a shade assassin like Rihanna when your wig is covering your ears just isn't smart to me. Oh, I think it's not smart because Rihanna read Tiana Taylor into the life she's living today. Oh, Rihanna, oh. Taylor was on track Alex. to become a big star, and Rihanna squashed that. She got her Adidas deal snatched. Her album never came out. You don't mess with Rihanna. Rihanna has that island hoodoo. She, like, look at her life. Look at her billionaire. Visible Successful pro. career. Uh, gets on stage and doesn't give too much. Very demure. Very <laughs> cutesy. 
she even the only got. Thing I want to talk about not having your tatas out. You were in Madonna's sex book. Oh. Okay? Yeah, that one is a little ironic, isn't it? Because we've seen her. T- yeah, I mean, listen, I know that she's, I mean, I, there are many instances of people's accounts that she's a bitch, but she still is the GOAT. I'm sorry. Naomi is literally one of, like, the supermodel. Like, you know what I mean? But, like, I'm just going to say that. But to, I by. thought Jerry Mouse was academic. Like, you I'm see, not- Jerry Mouse is regular academics. But when Jerry puts on the bus down, he's all right. <laughs> but it's a I fabulous was- bus down. But I know you wear that to cover your ears. <laughs> to Alex, we know and it's okay. But to Alex, I'm about to cry. Very oh, shady. God. Ooh, oh yes, Grace. Very shady. Very bothered. That's funny. Very but to Alex, very loud. Or uh, I very feel, uncouth. I'm not that old because I can still remember Naomi when she was in her. Oh, I'm a, a dominatrix and I'm a you know leather bound seductress phase she had. So like Naomi, what are you talking about, girl? Like, and what's wrong with showing your body? Like, even if it's your tatas, you're exactly. A- you're a model. You have been naked for a photo shoot before. You had to in that industry. That was about whatever feelings were hurt by the snub and what's behind that. That's what that was about. Because nothing would have been said if there weren't some other, you know, if there weren't the offense of the being ignored. Well, I mean, chatty. very yeah. messy. The bridge. Listen, I love Rihanna. I did. Did I think that was the best outfit ever? You know, I was like, oh well, yeah. You know, like. But at the same time, it was very awkward the way the the distance between them. What is it? The pressure, the tension, the energy was like, whoa. So I'm just curious because, and listen, I'm willing to say because, like I said, a lot of people have had encounters with Naomi. Who do we think? Wait. Imagine all the buttons being popped, though. Hmm? We're looking at the it, comment. Yeah. yeah. It's it's a little long, Nina, so. Okay. But, yes, we, yes, Naomi used to be naked all the time. Um. Well, I guess that's kind of all we've had to talk about for this hour of Diddy in custody and Jerry Mouse versus Rihanna, because Rihanna going to get him back. Rihanna is going to get him. Her clap back is strong and it echoes. It reverberates. He better be looking to at them two kids she's busy with, because if it was single re, oh. childless re back in the oh. day with her T-Mobile sidekick, because this was pre-iPhone. Oh, Baby. Yeah. It was on the Excel no. spreadsheet from from Kelly like, Rowland. Yes, but uh, oh, right. one let of everybody them. know where they can find you online. Y'all can check me out on Instagram. It's also with Threads as well. Psychic underscore E L B. Psychic Aaron. Psychic E. If you would like to get a psychic reading. Just hit me up in the DMs and let me know that you're a Biffa from Alex, and I'll give you a friends and family discount. You can also catch me on Ray Ray All Day's channel. We're currently on hiatus, but we should be starting back up again when we do Southern Charm. Oh, oh, wow. That's a show that I haven't watched in a hot minute. I might. Is it good still? It is. It is. I'm actually, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter, same uh, username, Biomiss. Uh, thank you for having me, Alex, for one of many, many videos that's going to be about Diddy. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, take care, y'all. Thanks for having All me. All right.